Creations and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I do witchy subscription unboxings as well as self-care subscription unboxings, tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews. If you are a returning friend of mine, hey girl, what's up? What's up bro? So today, finally, I got my Sugar Muses Deluxe Box. Yay! The male person did not want to deliver it yesterday because there was too much snow and it's kind of a trek from the street to our porch. They left it at the mailbox. Um, my boyfriend's dad grabbed it, so I don't know if it was in the mailbox. It's kind of big. Anyways, it's not wet. Thank God. Um, but yeah, the male goddesses were not on my side for this one because I got this real kinds of late and probably y'all have seen it way already, but let's just see what my reactions are to it. So we're going to open it up. Ta -da! So this is the inside and the theme is sacred love. And like I said, this is the um, Sugar Muses deluxe box um, for February, 2021. I will um, link up that information below. So I'll just read what this box is about real quick. Uh, I can't see, like, so I had LASIK, if you guys follow me, in one of my eyes. So this eye sees far away and this eye see close, sees close up. I woke up today and this eye has been blurry. Like, I don't know, I read that maybe the face mask I'm wearing, like I wear like a sleeping mask because I work nights, so I sleep during the day. Um, maybe cause that or the fans that I'm using anyways so let's see if I can actually read it says February is a special month it contains the holidays in bulk Groundhog's Day Lupercalia and of course Saint Valentine's Day some say that Valentine's Day is rooted in the ancient holiday of Lupercalia Lupercalia was a pre-Roman annual festival celebrated from the 13th through the 15th no one knows the exact origin of Lupercalia but it has been traced back as far as the 6th century BC. In Rome, it's thought Lupercalia took place to honor the she-wolf Lupercal and please the fertility god Lupercus. Lupercus. History tells us it was a wild Roman party that including drinking, dancing, and sacrifice. As a part of the celebrations, Men randomly chose a woman's name from a jar to be coupled with them for the duration of the festival. I think they still do that. Um, those are called swinger parties or something else where you drop your keys in a thing and pull them out and then you go hook up with that person. I've never been to one of those, I swear. <laughs> like seriously, no sarcasm here. I'd never fucking do that. But anyways, I digress. Okay. Um, often the couple stayed together until the following year's festival. So you, you're like hooked up for a year? Okay. Some fell in love and married. The ones that didn't, that would really suck. I'd be like, how long do I gotta hang out with this guy? Anyways, all right. For centuries, countless people and cultures have been pouring energy into this holiday, filling it with romance, love, and beauty. After a while, that becomes some powerful magic to tap into. Like, my allergies are already getting me. This holiday is also packed with symbolism that amplifies love, and whether you're single or partner, there's always a way to utilize the energy of the month. This box was curated and created to promote self-love, self-confidence, and empowerment, to help open the heart to give and receive love in all facets, facets of your life. Practitioners of white magic caution that the best way to approach love magic is to avoid focusing on a specific individual. We talked about this in another video and interfering with their free will. Instead, use your energy and skills to focus on yourself, to draw love your way. This amazing journey that we take in life can be heartbreakingly challenging and breathtakingly beautiful all at the same time. It is a reminder of the time that we have on this earth and how important it is to make the most of each moment and of our relationships. Of course, with current day events, the world could use some good vibes as well. Excuse me, drinking monsters. <laughs> Correspondences for February. Um, Zodiac and Pisces are 
I didn't say that right. Zodiac, Aquarius and Pisces. I'm Aquarius. My youngest son is a Pisces. He's so a Pisces. Um, full moon, snow moon, storm moon, goddesses of Aphrodite, Venus, Juno, Diana, Ocean, Ishtar, spell energy work, self-love, purification, forgiving yourself, growth and healing. As with any ritual work, it is a sacred and very personal experience and it is recommended that you use your knowledge and intuition as you are guided. The items in this month's box may be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you are called to do. They are curated to help inspire you on your journey. If you like the option of a guided ritual, I've outlined one below along with the metaphysical properties of items tools for this month's box. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to read that just yet. So right on top, we've got some artwork. We've got um, sacred love. And I'm not going to read this whole thing. I don't have a lot of time today. Um, but it's a nice little informational about love. Don't know if you guys can totally see this. Um, if you can zoom in and pause. So there is that and then we have oh I guess we're gonna get some rose quartz and maybe some uh, rose for our herbs so here's some information about those two very good oh I think I've gotten a card from this deck before so this is the back of the deck and the front, I got the 44 card. It says, get to know each other, learn to meet each other's need for love. Very beautiful. I'm gonna have to figure out where the other card is for this. I guess hopefully she'll tell us um, what deck that's from. And then we've got um, this pink paper. There's like little sparklies on it. I open it up. That. So we have her card, of course, the Sugar Muses card. And then, of course, we have some red roses. It says, love, happiness, healing. And then we have uh, bay leaf, love, purification, and dreams. So we got that. And then love spell, organic tea. And it says... Ingredients are hibiscus petals, orange peel, lemon balm, cloves, lavender, licorice root, and stevia. Caffeine free. That sounds yummy, doesn't it? I love the pink. How pretty. It's like shiny. Um, get our caffeine. Right now. All right. Oh, this is a nice. What's it called? Sacred Love Ritual Salts can see that lovely of course there's some rose petals in there oh very rose it's very nice very nice all right I well okay I'll go ahead and unbox everything and then I'll go back and read um, cause some people probably don't care about that portion of it. Here's my tea bag. Lots of black crinkle papers in here. All right. We got a candle. Surprised it's yellow. I don't know if it smells or not, but beeswax roll candle. Oh, I just saw something, Char. You told me about this girl. We'll get that in a minute. Our oils. I'm said this on a different, on their um, Midnight Muses box. I'm obsessed with their oils. They are amazing. So of course it is the Sacred Love oil. It's got a cute little top on it. I bet it has roses in this. Yeah, I feel like it's similar to the fragrance in the bath salts. Let's put it on. I'm not sure what else is in there. We'll find out. Okay. All right. We have 
Oh, that's so cute. So there's a pink little sachet. Look, it's got like a little like twig heart. I don't know if you guys can see that that great. Look at that, that's so cute. It's got all kinds of goodies in there. Mmm, smell good. There's like some kind of, is that a flower? There's something very purple in there, but I don't know if that's a flower or not. It looks like there's lavender in there, rose petals. Um, maybe calendula. Mmm. We'll figure out what that is. Okay. Little pink satin sachet. I don't really like that word. <laughs> That's why I said it's so stupid. Ta-da! A very lovely piece of rose quartz tumbled. Mine has like a kind of a flat um, bottom and then it's rounded on the top. This is nice. Mm. This is great. Okay, so I've said this before. I do love tumbled. Some people get really irritated with getting tumbled, but I like to do crystal grids. So um, tumbleds are awesome. And this actually, since it's got this really flat side, this will be perfect. So one of these days, I will put more like crystal grids on my Instagram. I'm having some hair issues as always. Um, so yeah, very lovely. I think we got some incense back here. Mmm. Flowery. I think there's eight in there. Oh, we have another crystal in a black. I call these these organza bags, but again, sachet. I feel stupid saying that word, but anyways, whatever. This just looks like clear quartz. Although my lighting was so shitty that one video that I opened up a fluorite and was like, Wah. but anyways, there's a lovely chunk of clear quartz. You cannot have too much of this business. I've been loving on my, I have a chunk from a different box that I got like a long time ago. I've been loving on that crystal here recently. All right. Oh, well, I guess I won't have to go very far to figure out where that Oracle card came from because Whispers of Love is the Oracle deck. So guess who's going to be doing an unboxing of this in a different video? Awesome sauce. It says um, Oracle cards for attracting more love into your life. Uh, I I don't know if this looks familiar to me because I've gotten a card from it before because the back of the card is very familiar and it says it's by Angela Hartfield artwork by Josephine Wall um, I guess I already showed you guys that so it says whispers of Oracle cards were created to help you find methods and messages for building stronger more loving relationship whilst also reminding you of the interconnectedness of everything in your life whether it be a romantic connection or your relationship with others around you these beautifully illustrated cards will help you find answers and solutions. You can choose cards for everyday guidance, or you can focus your readings on a specific question or relationship. However you use these cards, they will be an invaluable tool for adding clarity, understanding, and love to your situation. Very nice, very nice. I um, don't have time to unbox this um, with this video today but I will do this tomorrow. I have to work tonight. So yes, that is the end of that box. So let's get that down there. Got crinkle papers, crinkle papers. Um, we'll read about our stuff. Oh, that was the oil was in that. Okay. All right, so ritual salts. Um, This blend contains Epsom salts, organic coconut oil, dried rose petals, dried Queen Anne's lace, rose water, and essential oils with notes of sandalwood. 
Very nice. Use this magical blend to help you relax and to harmonize your senses. Super. Then incense sticks. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. This She kind of incorporates this into the ritual, so I'm not going to read everything here. Um, scent. Vanilla, rose, jasmine, and catnip. Okay. And then we have our floral potpourri, which is this guy. Contains dried lavender beds, rose petals, hibiscus, and chrysanthemums. Okay, got it. And it says, place a small bowl of your pur purifying potpourri on a windowsill or on your altar. You can use it in an offering dish on your altar to ring candles or in spell bags to promote self-love excuse me promote love self-love and peace the twig heart can be used as a charm to enhance spells replace after a month or so this twig heart is totes adorbs i love all right um sacred love ritual oil this guy and it's just talking about how you can use it to dress candles, spell items, alter tools. It contains notes of jasmine, rose, gardenia, and sandalwood. Very nice. All right. And then, sorry, my eyeball is bothering me a lot. Okay, one more drink. Hand rolled beeswax candle. If you wish to invoke the goddess in your ritual, light the candle and say, I'll go ahead and um, read what she says for the invocation. Goddess of love, beauty, and fertility, I ask for your assistance in manifesting and attracting unconditional love into my life. Open my eyes, allow me to see the beauty in myself, and allow others to see the beauty of my highest self. Let my light shine brightly with strength, grace, and confidence. Open my heart so that I may receive the blessings of the universe. As I light this candle, I step fully into my power. I feel the light of the flame ignite within me and fill my being with divine love, abundance, strength, and confidence. I am able and willing to give love and receive love. For the highest good of all, so it is. Lovely. And then we have our tumbled rose quartz. Um... No, wait, what? Okay, I was wrong about the other one. Um, this gemstone carries a soft feminine energy of compassion and peace, tenderness and healing, nourishment and comfort. It speaks directly to the heart chakra, dissolving emotional wounds, fears, and resentments, the ultimate unconditional love gemstone. This gemstone can be charged with your intent and carried with you, placed under your pillow to promote peaceful sleep. On the night of the new moon, take a moment to write down a new goal you wish to attract. Place the stone over the piece of paper. We've already hit the new moon for this month. Um, and then this is raw smoky quartz. Okay, I mean, I guess probably once I get it out of the shit light, I'll be able to see. It's very faint, the smoky aspect of it. Um, very faint, but yeah, I could totally use some smoky quartz. Smoky Quartz is really good for grounding, um, working with your root chakra, um, protection. Um, smoky Quartz can, um, like I said, ground you and bring negative energy and release it into the earth um, to get it out of you and your environment. Um, and then you know, like Gaia, Mother Earth, absorbs that negative energy for you. So there you go. Um, when you think of crystals for promoting love, smoky quartz may not be your be on your short list. Although it is not directly related to self-love, it is a great all-around crystal to have. It promotes grounding and cleansing. You cannot expect to raise your positive vibes and feel self-love if you aren't releasing the low emotions that are keeping you stuck. Because the stone absorbs bad low energy, it is helpful to cleanse it often. And then we have our um, organic bay leaf. Planet the sun, element of fire, gender masculine, 
Due to its romantic essence and smell, it is often used in sweetening up relationships throughout the centuries. Bay has been used for several spells. What time is it? Okay. Um, and rituals including attraction, love, road opening, protection, power, hex removal, and psychic development. Add it to love spell bags. I have done that. Write someone's name on a bay leaf and place it under your pillow or mattress. Blend some with rose petals and infuse in some oil. This can be used to dress spell candles or added to a ritual bath. Do not consume. <laughs> okay, anyways. And then we have organic red roses. This guy. Planet Venus, element of water, gender female. Add to baths to encourage beauty and love. Carry to attract love. Add it to a sleep sachet or sach sachet. Okay, sorry. <laughs> to promote sweet dreams. Use to honor the goddess Aphrodite. Add to a spell jar to attract romance. Substitute it for any flower in a spell. Use in glamour spells. Sprinkle on burning candles for love spells. Use the petals as altar confetti. All right, and then we have our Whispers of Love Oracle deck by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Ball. These cards were created to help you find methods and messages for building stronger, more loving relationships while reminding you of the interconnectedness of everything in your life. Whether it is a romantic connection or your connection to others around you, these beautifully illustrated cards will help you find answers and solutions. Angela Hartfield is a psychic medium and intuitive healer who teaches spiritual workshops worldwide. The art of Josephine Wall beautifully complements Angela's messages. Uh, and then she always puts at the end of the ritual that she um, crafts in here to drink the tea. So that would be our love spell tea, which I already read what's in it. Um, and then we have the sacred love art print by... Christy, who is one, if not the only owner. I'm not really positive about that. Mm, there we go. This digital collage art print was created exclusively for this box and can be placed on your altar, framed, or added to your book of shadows for future reference. And then we have, um, it says art print by Christy. I'm assuming it's the um, Rose Quartz um, Rose Petal artwork. Also created exclusively for this box. Um, used as a reference guide. Put it in your book shadows, grimoire, dirt, dirt, dirt. And then the intuitive, intuitively drawn divination card, which I got number 44. Get to know each other. That's my card drawn from the deck of Whispers of Love. Take a moment to reflect on the meaning this card has for you and of any insight it may bring. Um, and there you go. So I'll be able to kind of look up, I'm assuming there's a little guidebook in here so we can see what the um, author has to say about that card. So this was a pretty good um, box this month. Super excited. Um, I'm really excited about the Oracle deck. We will open this together tomorrow, most likely. But I have like some more things coming tomorrow. I said in my last video that I only had like two more boxes. That's totally a lie. Um, I think I've got one more subscription box, but then I've got <laughs> I've got other things that I'm gonna unbox for y'all um, that's coming. So I still have lots more this month. Yay! because I shop too much. So support my channel, y'all, to support my shopping habit. <laughs> Anyways, what do you guys think of this box? Do you have it? What's your favorite item? Are you gonna do the ritual that she lays out for you? I'm curious if people do that or if they kind of use these tools on their own. Um, I don't know, um, probably one of my favorites is the Rose Quartz Tumble because I love crystals. And then these bath salts smell pretty amazing. But yeah, Oracle Deck, super excited about. So thanks guys for watching. I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment in, uh, below what you think. 
if you are a current subscriber I really appreciate y'all if you haven't subscribed I would um, I would love if you would subscribe to me help me grow my channel um, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos I've got lots of videos up for you guys to check out again thanks so much run over and check me on Instagram if you haven't done that I do other things over there and I also announce anytime there's a new um, unboxing or video up on this channel um, and yeah I guess that's about it and oh also again I've mentioned this I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this month after I get all of my boxes um, one of my boxes is it's just shipped like yesterday from the UK so you know it may be way towards the end of this month or the very beginning of March depending on when I get that box um, but I will be taking items that either I have duplicates of they don't resonate with me or I just feel called to give to somebody else because sometimes you know even if I love something um, I want to give it to somebody else you know have you ever done that before you get a crystal and you're like this is a gorgeous crystal which I do have a gorgeous crystal um, that I have set aside from a different box that I will be giving away in my giveaway so stay tuned I will make sure that you guys know when that's happening there'll be a video there'll be an Instagram post if not more than that so yep all right I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna go get ready for work so love y'all thank you see you next time have a great day